Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough of TSRPR. I'm not sure which path I'd like to take here. Probably the one with the secret exit. Because it's got a secret exit. <laughs> you know, those could possibly take a while. So Rhino's treasure it is. And I do believe that this was called something else in the original version of the game. I believe it was Dragon Treasure or Dragon's Treasure, excuse me. And, uh, well, I just got two prizes there, and I <laughs> just wasn't sure it was in the boxes, and I got, wow, a lot of power-ups early on the level. Although, these type jumps it might not help all that much. But anyway, as for the original name, Dragon's Treasure, it probably is more fitting that it's called Rhino's Treasure now, because, as you see, there's a lot of dino rhinos around this place, and yeah. <laughs> eh. Oh no, my Yoshi! Uh Actually, it's probably better off without Yoshi, <laughs> because of these sorts of jumps coming here with the note blocks, and yeah, oh boy, <laughs> I don't like this part of the level. Oh, 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 jeez, I could be bounced to my doom. Okay, I made it. <laughs> Just a matter of jump control. Ooh, oh, that was close. I don't know how this water works here, because you go through the bottom of the tank that's containing the water and you can't go back out of it. Don't question the game logic. Do not question the game logic. I'm gonna have to get in here somehow. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Whoa! Controls on the note blocks. Kind of an issue if you hit them on the side. So, ooh! I want to get him at a safe spot. Oh, okay, forget it. I'll just despawn it. <laughs> uh, if I still had Yoshi, I could sneak myself in there, but I don't think it's worth trying to take a Yoshi through that, because if you hit your head on the ceiling, you're doomed. Well, okay, maybe not doomed, but uh, you're gonna have some issues getting through the gauntlets. And yeah, oh boy. Oh, oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> Actually, I should probably do that, too. Um, I'm frightened. Because side bounces are just as dangerous here as they were in the other area. Good. Arceus! Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Okay. Pyramid blocks. Not your friend! <laughs> I was hoping that would work out, and it did. Oh, boy! <laughs> That could have been very... No! 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 Yes! Okay. Made it. Somehow. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna... No! No! <laughs> I hate when the Dino Rhinos stop moving like that because... What happens is, um... You kind of run into them way too easily. <sighs> I got through the majority of the level, so how about I show you a little cheat through the place? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was um, purposeful by FPI anyway to be able to do this, so I like to show it now. Back to Rhino's treasure with a cape. Well, two capes. See that? That shaft right up here. See that? You can actually get up that with a cape. Well, if you fly well. By flying well, I mean you gotta do like a that and go all the way up. Oh, so close. So close. Just gotta get like, get yourself just under the edge of, uh, no, it's not gonna work, of the blocks there. If he didn't want this to be possible, he would just probably put a spike or something right, right above there. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a short way through the level for the skilled flyers. I'm not that skilled of a flyer though, so this is gonna take me a couple of tries to re-get here. Ow, poopers. <laughs> you also gotta sort of jump like right near the end of the platform to get as much uh, lead as you can. There we go. I was jumping a little bit too early and that was kind of my issue. Um, where the paths led up to were um, I was really close to the spot that they um, met up to. Hold on, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you, don't worry. Right here, yep. I got all the way here, uh, 
without using power-ups and whatnot, and yeah, but otherwise it's possible to get through here and get to the old secret exit um, uh, through that little passageway there, if you do a little bit of flying practice at that spot. Alright, and yeah, that's a really, really short way to beat the level, which is why I wanted to show you the regular path first before doing the uh, um, super sneaky uh, fly flight through that opening there and yeah but you have to use a spin fly to get through that otherwise you can because the regular fly just will not get you through that spot anyway let's do the same thing here for ye old secret exits hopefully <laughs> yeah, whoa, that worked out nice all right, so I'm going to stun it, boot it off to the side, grab the key, go back down, and now I'm going to fly up the passageway that was right up here where the arrow indicated. Yeah, I guess that's the rhino's treasure. I suppose, maybe, could be, might be. You know, because, you know, it's kind of, well, unless it's that flower at the end of the pipe. But it's like a petrified flower, and how is that much of a treasure? Oh, forget it. I don't know. It. Resnoris Factory! Let's start. Ooh. Feel the energy in the air. Oh, yeah. We're rocking. And you know how that's, that box is nice if you don't have a power up. But I have a power up. Oh boy, I don't like that. <laughs> There's a thing that if the, the platform falls. I mean, it gets to a point where the platform falls faster than you do, and then you fall off the platform, so... Be careful, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, there's relatively safe platforms to land on below, so... Ooh. So, it's, you know, just don't have to worry too much, as long as you just get ready to jump when you hit the other platform. Let these fall so and so far, so that you can get past the emojis. <laughs> okay. Midpoint already? Really? I kind of find that hard to believe. Maybe because I have a cape. I don't know. I, I just didn't really have all that much issue with that first half. <laughs> oh, oh, let me in. Okay. <sighs> Doors, not your friend with an Xbox D-pad, let me tell you. Well, an Xbox 360 D-pad. Whoa. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even, yeah, a lot of these jumps would be really difficult even without a cape. And again, I've got the hanging of Super Mario World at this point with all the difficulty I've faced. <laughs> Get out of here. Got yeah, scoop. Yeah. Ho ho. Ho ho. Hee <laughs> hoo. Oh, this is this other spiky segment's much trickier. Oh wait, no, it's, this isn't the one yet. It's it's coming though. It's coming. You gotta sort of sneak your way in between two spikes, and it's very easy to nick the sides of the spikes. And these odd spike stakes here as you can tell there's a little graphical glitch um, at the very top of them see that see that no well, oh, maybe not maybe it's only when the screens at certain spots but yeah maybe it's just a emulation error thingy and yeah anyway as for those stakes they aren't really all that easy to get hit by you more you most likely bounce off the sides more than anything <laughs> You just like to have. If you want to be hit by them, you gotta touch the very tip of those suckers. Okay, here's the one where you gotta be careful with spikes. Yeah, there we go. Oh, cape. But I've got two capes. That was pretty easy. <laughs> but I shouldn't say that. There's there's the boss. You've got Kamek. Well, Magic Koopa. Plus the Resnors. Oops. Whoa. 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 Oopsie. <laughs> that was my fault because I kind of stood in the corner too much. But uh, I'll do this other half without any power-ups now to show you that it's pretty easy to do without power-ups. <laughs> so yeah. And then I'll probably just end up cutting forward to the boss each time I play this. Unless I, you know, end up having more issues than I think I'm going to have on this. But I don't really think so. One, two, throw bones, drop off the edge. Come on, there you go. See, not that difficult. Just pick your opportunities wisely. And timing is of the essence. Yeah, even the um, bony beetles don't really cause all that much of an issue because you've got um, 
a small size to work in your favor here. <laughs> ooh, ooh, mm. Well, that jump was sort of tricky. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't cut ahead to me getting back over to the boss. Um, whenever you have a Resnor with a really unstable floor, you probably want to just kill one res Resnor and then go up on its platform to finish off the rest. Like, if you were to uh, not have any ground on the original Resnor fight, you know, just like pretend that there isn't any ground whatsoever and just not rely on whatever unstable ground is below you. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I probably should talk about the boss when I get back over to the boss. <laughs> yeah, that uh, one jump that I flubbed on there, it's, it's the same with or without a cape, basically, because you still have to fit through the one square hole here. Yeah, see, and it doesn't really matter if you have a cape or not, because the platform that you're on, it's gonna be gone by the time you land anyway, or going to try to land anyway. So, yeah... Come on, move it, move it, Super Fuzz. Yeah, I know they're fiery, but they look f more fuzzy than fiery, in my opinion. <laughs> Whoa, I touched the edge of the platform. Did not mean to do that, but it worked out. It worked out. And also, also, always look ahead to um, where the obstacles are. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Boopers. Boopers. Look, always, like when you're going up to those saws, pick your jump wisely because you could jump into a saw but it's all timed in such a way that you don't really have um, too much issue being able to offset the timing because you, you're able to stick on these platforms that fall for um, about a second or two and that's enough to wait for whatever danger is above to pass Whee! <clears throat> yeah! -hoo -hoo! and also be very touchy with your jump button when you're trying to jump under something, obviously. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, just gotta make sure your jumps are true. Believe in your jump button and you will make it through. I made a poem there on purpose, so I was a poet and knew it. I didn't have issue jumping on that guy before. Hmm, I'm having a lot more issue on this level than I thought I would. <laughs> it's like one good run through the level and I'm messing up everything now. Despite the cape having no real influence on your jumps. <laughs> no, really, you don't really need a cape on this level. It's just a matter of just basic jumping skill. None of the jumps are really all that tight if you need a cape with it. Though it's nice to have a cape for the Resnor boss, but they give you one on the way there anyway, so yeah. See, no issues whatsoever, just just a matter of jump control, which you should have at this point in the game, because this is a difficult game that pushes you to your limit, <laughs> even in the early levels, so yeah. As you see, i am got my consistency here. Maybe I got slightly lucky on my first run through the level, which is how I was able to do it in one shot. I don't know. I'm, well, I shouldn't say one shot, because I've done this level before. Um, but, yeah, it's a matter of... Uh, what I mean is, I got got through it on my first run, on this run through the game. And over here, I should have waited for the Pony Beetle to move out of my way before uh, making my attempt downwards. There we go! Look at that! Look at that! I made it! I made it! <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't need a cape, as handy as it is to have. There we go. Alright, Resnor. This time I'm gonna rush in and start whacking the heck out of them. Yeah! Okay. Get... Stop it. Nope. nope. Actually, taking a hit might not be such a bad idea there. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Victory! Woo! Woo! <sighs> I thought there was going to be a special cutscene, because this is a fortress, not a castle. Oh, it leads me there. I thought it was going to lead me to the other level. Well, I should probably go to the other level in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.